Okay, everyone, it's one o'clock and welcome to Pierce Farm in Lexington, Massachusetts. I'm so happy that everyone is at home social distancing and I'm really happy that you're joining us here for the tour today. I'm sure that you're eager for me to flip the camera around and start the tour, but I wanna give just a little bit of background. And I'm also here with Casey, well, first of all, I'm Elizabeth Crampton with Coldwell Banker's Fine Boston Living Team. And again, welcome. I am here with Casey. She's gonna go through with me today and open doors and help me show. Say hi to Casey. Hey, everybody. Okay, a um, little bit of background again. We're right now standing in the original renovated early 1800s farmhouse. This is a brand new enclave with two brand new homes plus this fully renovated home. Mary Beth Busa of Busa Homes is the creative mastermind behind this amazing development. And she works hand in hand with Roy Antonelli, master craftsman who's here on site, taking care and overseeing everything every day. I definitely want to mention Bill Erickson of Bechtel Franken Erickson, renowned Boston area architecture firm, instrumentally involved and one other person I don't want to forget to mention today is the interior designer, Linda Revel. Amazing. And she really worked closely with the developers to help preserve as many of the antique details as possible in where we are now, 1106 Mass Avenue. Um, I also just wanted to say um, that you should definitely feel free to type in any kind of questions, any kind of comments. I see people are already doing that and I so appreciate it. And during the tour, if I don't answer everything, at the end, the plan is, well, the tour should take around 15 minutes, gonna start any second, and then we'll sit down and go over the location because if any project has location, 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 Pierce Farm does. I can't wait to tell you about the neighborhood. And then Aunt, we're gonna down, Casey will help me download the video and then we'll answer everyone's questions. Okay, I'm flipping the camera around. Let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, the developer, Busa Homes, carefully with Linda Revel and Bill tried to preserve as many of the antique farmhouse features as possible. So right now we're looking at the original front door. Of course, the family would go in through the back door, um, the mudroom entry, which is significant, and we'll be getting there too. Um, I'm gonna flip around so guests would come in this front door. To the right, you've got probably an old parlor Currently a sitting room that takes you out to one of my favorite spaces, the three season porch. And then if you flip around here, you've got your original main staircase, mahogany railings. And um, also we've got dining room. This, uh, my other favorite room is this dining room. Who doesn't want a dining room with a fireplace? Now these front rooms you'll see have really deep window sills and then Oh, the old shutters, which of course, back in the day, were used to protect the house from the enemy, as well as, of course, to keep everybody um, warm in the cold weather months. Um, okay, let me go into the parlor because this is another amazing feature. Um, Roy crafted the passageway out to the porch to mimic the front, um, the front shutters. And I just love that detail, if you can see that. I'll take you out to the porch later. Okay, let's head back and then um, go into what's probably everyone is eager to see is the kitchen. Wanna take you right in there. I'm gonna mention right now though that this area could easily be a family room when this, what we're showing as a family room um, was staged by the wonderful Monarch Staging, Linda and Mary Beth. They decided to make this room the dining room and the old original dining room we're showing is a family room. So flexible space can be used any way you want. Flipping around here to show you the kitchen. They chose a beautiful quartz counter here. And then you've got a really wonderful appliance package. The Wolf, you can recognize the red knobs, of course, natural gas, 
uh, six burner range with dual fuel. It vents right outside, which I think most people are looking for today. You can't see right now, but we do have beautiful under cabinet lighting. My favorite, the Sub-Zero French door freezer under. Lots of space in here. Ooh, fine Boston living waters for our private showings. Um, and then very efficient use of the, um, the space with the under cabinet drawer style microwave. That's the Sharp, one of the best. And you've got a peninsula, really cozy, beautiful space. And I'm gonna just flip around because I do wanna show you this stainless uh, dishwasher, which is ASCO, excellent brand. Now the kitchen goes right into the brand new mudroom. Right now we're in the original home, which is a gut rehab, but once you get into the mudroom area and the two car attached garage, that's all brand new construction too. You really can't tell, it's so beautifully done. Let's go out to the three season porch, but I just want you to appreciate these details. Um, beautiful little wet bar area in the family room, which again could be the dining room. And then this goes right into that front study. All right, before we go out to the three season porch, I have to show you full bathroom right here on the first floor. So thoughtful, all Kohler appliances, by the way, and beautiful, beautiful tile work. I'll just let you take a peek of this shower. Now this is very, very practical because if you ever needed a first floor bedroom, the parlor could easily become a bedroom. Add some doors or put up some nice screening there and you've got wonderful guest space. Okay, back through the family room and then um, we'll head, thanks Casey, we'll head right out to the porch. This is not completely finished. All of the exterior is a work in progress right now because we're just coming out of the winter months. But this is an amazing space. And even though I'm gonna talk about location later, I have to tell you that this is a front row seat to Lexington's famous parades. We have two every year and everybody wants to come out and watch. Everybody would come to your home. Now this backyard area looks really rough right now, but it's going to be beautiful. Um, Roy is bringing in original Boston aged brick, doing a huge patio back here. And just what a spot. You have so many outdoor living areas here, beautiful views all around. Okay, let's head back in. Gotta show you the mudroom while we finish up the first floor. Yes, it is the Wolf stove as you can recognize. Sorry, I'm just reading one of the questions. We'll get to everybody's later, but you do see the red knobs, signature Wolf style. Okay, into the mudroom, classic mudroom with a double closet, but here's one of the surprises. Roy, I mentioned is a master craftsman and he designed this built-in bench, which is so beautiful. You might think it's here from the 1800s, but it's brand new. And it's just one of my favorite things about the house, such a thoughtful detail. We're gonna go into the half bath after. While we're here, let's go out to the two car garage. Very spacious, high ceilings. I love the way you have four windows letting in plenty of natural light. And also while we're here, I have to show you the enclave. Okay, couple of surprises out here. We're looking at the side of the brand new home that's right along Mass Ave. There's gonna be a gorgeous island right here in the center. Of course, workers are here. Everything is business as usual, coronavirus and all, just trying to finish up the project. And beyond Roy's um, tentative office there, you can see a barn. That is actually the third house. It's the biggest and it's going to be fantastic. It looks like a barn, something super unusual. And when we get upstairs, I want to show you more detail out the window of the fieldstone, um, the fieldstone walls. There's hundreds and hundreds of feet of fieldstone walls and they are all rebuilt. But on the original property, which I should mention was the um, Pierce Dairy Farm. You had lots of the fieldstone uh, fences here, just fieldstone walls to pen in the cows. They'd be next to the barn and getting ready to go out to pasture. Luckily, the Lexington Historical Commission has done a lot of research on this home and it is in the historic district, which guarantees you charm and beauty. 
And of course, the developers are doing everything they can to maintain that, which they're so excited about. Back in the home, we do have a back stairs. This takes you right up to the master bedroom, but let's go up the original front main stairs. Okay, Casey and I are gonna take you up. I'm glad you like the bench. I love the bench too. Okay, we're heading up your main staircase and I didn't even mention the basics about the home. Okay, 4,200 square feet, four bedrooms with four spacious ensuite bathrooms. We're at the front of the house now, but you also have one and a half bathrooms on the first floor. So it's four bedrooms, five and a half baths. Here's one of the bedrooms. Do you wanna just let everybody see the closet? Oh, yeah. Okay, beautiful built-ins. All of the closets are built out. And then of course the eye candy, the beautiful bathroom. You've got ceramic flooring. This is also quartz counter. Nice wide vanity and shower as well. Beautiful neutral tiling everywhere. And you notice the custom glass doors built that the developers put into all of the bathrooms. No expense was spared here. Okay, heading across the main hallway give you another look and let's go into the the front right bedroom as you can see the scale of all the bedrooms is excellent this bathroom also has a shower I'll give you a look oh it's got the pebbled flooring so many people like that oh I'm glad you like the tile okay and again another Casey let's take a look at this closet Oh, I'm glad you're using the wipes. Okay, a nice wide closet. Beautiful, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna head on. We've got two more bedrooms on this level to see, and that does include the master suite at the back of the house, but another bedroom. Again, each bedroom has its own bath, so they're all fun to see. I'm gonna show you this bedroom's bathroom right away. Quartz counters, vanity, fully tiled, you notice, high-end um, high everything from the tile to the hardware. Oh, you know what? Let's look at this closet too. Just want to see. I like the way that they put in the double doors. That's such a sweet touch. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it really is amazing. And that's when you work with, you build with an interior designer, that just makes all the difference. This is gonna be um, the laundry room, or the, sorry, the linen closet, right in the center of the hallway. And then, not that I usually like laundry rooms, but it's huge, great natural light. I mean, seriously, couldn't you spend all day here? A nice folding counter, sink, everything you'd want. It's really, really a pleasant room another linen closet and then you've got your access right here plenty of space for um, washer for dryer now we're going to head back into the um the master suite i love the character of this room and you do have two closets let's go take a look at this one casey this is um a good size walk-in closet all of the uh, paint colors by the way are benjamin moore and I do have a list of all the colors, so please feel free to send, um, send me a request for that and I can get that to you. So one of the two master bedroom closets, always fun to see the views out the windows too. And then I was mentioning the stone walls. You can really get a good view here of the incredible amount of field stone walls that Busa Homes has put into this development. Three, incredible homes, one of the best locations. Oh, I'm looking at that thermostat. Let me just mention that it is natural gas heating. You've got three zones of hydro air, heating and cooling. Hydro air is excellent. Good for anybody with dry skin. So we're in the master bath, a beautiful extra deep soaking tub. And then the double vanity here is quartzite. So we've seen a lot of quartz in the house, but this is quartzite here. I am glad you like it. The rooms really are all so spacious. 
And Elizabeth, what kind of flooring is in the bathroom? Oh, so thank you for asking, Casey. This is porcelain tile flooring. And then I really should have mentioned in the shower, solid marble. Again, no expense spared. So let's, oh, we actually have to pop upstairs. We want to see the third floor. This is really fun and flexible space, whether you're looking to put in a yoga studio, a third floor home office, or a teen hangout space. This is incredible space for that. And it does have its own zone of heating and cooling. This is one of the best features of this floor, the built-in window seat, and then you've got the original palladium window. You can just see a little bit of the rippled glass. Now, virtually all of the windows are new. And again, this is essentially new construction, but Busa Homes was able to maintain some of the incredible details. So we came up the main stairs. Let's go down the back stairs. I won't take you to the basement today, but I will mention that it's um, full basement, completely waterproofed. It is original, excellent for storage. Okay. Yeah, the kitchen and bathrooms here are just outstanding. So we're back, I think we gave the entire tour. Um, well, like I said, I think I'm gonna sit down in the family room area here and then all right, I flipped around. You've got a view of the kitchen. Just want to talk to you about the neighborhood. There is essentially no better neighborhood that I can think of. I'm going to tell you about all the assets. You're a mile from Lexington Center. You're a mile from Wilson Farms, where I love to shop for organic produce and flowers and all kinds of things. Essentially, right in front of the Enclave, you actually have the bus, the T that takes you to Alwife. Alwife is the end of the red line. You're a 20 minute drive. Well, that's without rush hour. 20 minute drive into Boston or Cambridge. So couldn't be better. And I mentioned you're on the parade route, but it doesn't stop there. You also have virtually right across the street, the 14 mile Minuteman bike path. And that goes from Arlington through Lexington, through Bedford. So a lot of people actually um, bike on that to get into the T to work. Um, also, are you into dog walking, cross-country skiing, walks? You have the 114-mile Great Meadows, Arlington Great Meadows, right off the bike path, essentially across the street. Um, it's called the Arlington Great Meadows, but it is actually in Lexington, and I'm out there almost every day and seriously appreciate it. Now, if you have children, we are walking distance to the Bowman Elementary School, the Clark Middle School, Again, just a mile to the town center. So you can give the whole family a lot of freedom here in this house. Um, oh, and around the corner, you've got the brand new Lexington Community Center that people of all ages um, are using. Everybody's there all the time. Um, let me think what else about the neighborhood. Is there a place where I could get organic groceries somewhere near you? Oh, yeah. Well, Wilson Farms. People walk, bike. Wilson Farms is right down the road, um, incredible. And by the way, all of this is less than 10 miles from downtown Boston. So something pretty amazing. Um, if you'd like more information about Pierce Farm, you could see that the new houses are under construction. I have all the information. Those are gonna be coming on the market really soon. So please do one of four things. If you go to Find Boston Living, Dot com. You can contact us, click contact us. If you, you can direct message us on Facebook, on Instagram, Find Boston Living. You can pick up the phone, 781-389-4400 and text, call, anything. And then the other option, oh, 1106massav.com is the website for this particular home. I haven't mentioned the price. I don't know if anybody's asked that. It's a million nine forty nine. The new homes are larger. They're more expensive. Um, look forward to helping you. We're going to download this video, answer everybody's questions. I hope you've asked some. And um, in the meantime, if you can do two things for me, uh, go on Find Boston Living, Facebook page, like us, follow us and keep social distancing. Six feet is great, but as my aunt in Toronto says, the seven friendly 
is what we're doing. Thank you so much for joining us.